Legally Blonde is a 2001 comedy film starring Reese Witherspoon, and it was a smash hit. There was, um, I think that maybe, I, I kind of remember the previews coming out at the time, but I, you know, I was still too young to really pay attention to like certain things like, you know, box office buzz and all that kind of stuff. But um, I think that it was kind of, you know, more received like, well, this is just going to be another stupid, you know, kind of girly movie like Clueless. But like Clueless, I think that, you know, it surprised people and actually came out to be very, um, I mean, it's a great film by many standards. Um, and I think that, you know, Clueless helped kind of, you know, get that going for him. I think it, you know, I, I think the clueless similarities are fair because just like Alicia Silverstone, Reese Witherspoon stars in it playing this, you know, bimbo, but she's got a heart of gold. I mean, there's, you know, she's just a great overall person and she's, but she's just ditzy. So basically what it is for those of you that don't know, she goes and she tries to become a lawyer. She goes to Harvard um, after she leaves uh, Beverly Hills, which she's, you know, pretty much been, you know, uh, uh, Paris Hilton, like when she was back in the surreal life, that was pretty much her, her life. Um, but it, you know, it has charm. It has heart. It has, you know, really good, um, uh, I guess kind of a good message even, you know, kind of stick true to yourself because, you know, book, you know, not everything's as it appears, you know, because she looks like a Barbie, but she knows her stuff. She's a good lawyer comes to find out. Um, when it was first greenlit, the studio didn't know how, how much of a, like a women empowerment film it would be. They thought it was just, you know, originally going to be kind of like a sorority wet t-shirt, you know, boob show. And that's a quote that I got from when I was looking it up because that's kind of what they thought it was going to be. And, you know, of course, come to find out, um, L is just as charming and amazing as, you know, you want your, you know, female protagonist to be, yes, she's a girly girl. Yes. She's, you know, pretty and pink and ditzy and whatever, but she's, like I said, she's got a heart of gold and she's, you know, she's not an idiot. She really, she has feelings like, you know, women do. And, uh, a lot of people, I think even today, unfortunately, just kind of view women as, you know, objects and, uh, and this film, you see that you do see that she's just like, Oh, okay. You're kind of cute. Um, you know, it's just it's just one of those things. And uh, there were actually um, Reese Witherspoon, you know, is the role of Elle. And she's amazing and spectacular. But there were uh, actually a, a few uh, women that were uh, looked at for the role of Elle. Charlize Theron, Gwyneth Paltrow, Alicia Silverstone, Katherine Heigl, uh, Christina Applegate, Mila Jovovich and Jenner Love Hew Jennifer Love Hewitt were all. Um, I guess talked about, I don't know how far the auditioning process got, but they were all talked about. Um, but uh, the only ones being fair, all of these women are good actresses. The only ones I really think could, you know, Alicia Stoverson, of course, because clueless um, probably Gwyneth Paltrow could have pulled that off. And I haven't seen enough of her comedy but Jennifer Love Hewitt, I think, maybe could have done it. And like I said, nothing against the other actresses. It's a great list of actresses right there. But it does take a specific kind of style to really pull off the ditzy but likable blonde, you know. Um, the But anyway, so, you know, Luke Wilson, he's good in it. He's the love interest. And, of course, Jennifer Coolidge, she is amazing. She's Elle's best friend. And she's the – she is the – a uh, 40 year old virgin or however old she is. I'm sorry if I was over guessing, but she is the older version of L basically, but she's somehow even a little more ditzy, but she's incredible. Stifler's mom as she always is. Um, but no, in all reality, it's, it's a great film. I mean, I'll, I'll say it's a great film. I really enjoy it. It's um, it does have a, a strong message, you know, surprisingly enough, and it's a lot more than meets the eye. Yes. It's cute. Yes. It's, you know, hot girls running around, but it's not just that. And um, you know, and her, her little rivalry with Selma Blair. I like that too. But anyway, if you have seen it, let me know in the comments what you think. If you haven't, I highly recommend checking it out um, because you're not going to regret it. It is actually free on Tubi, and there is a sequel, um, and I think a third one too that Reese Witherspoon is not in, but I might dive into one of these days. But anyway, Women's Month continues with my next one coming out, and take it easy.